Hey guys, welcome back to Transmit the 1075 in case you missed it. Wow, with that music, it almost sounded like car fires were exciting and in, like uh, you're in the movies. Anyway, I really compiled that together to give you an idea of what guys encounter on a daily basis in America at a car fire. Um, in my view, it's, uh, it's places and times where guys become the most complacent. It's an outside fire. It's just a vehicle you can stand back and you probably get away with that uh, 99 times out of 100. But as you saw in some of those vid videos, it really is a dangerous uh, time. And I am not sure why. The, the reason why I made this is about mask wearing. And I really don't understand why such a large segment of the country, firefighters, still don't wear masks during car fires. Um, it does seem to be, I will concede, uh, it seems to be more of a city thing than it is a rural area, suburbia. So I, I don't know what, why city departments feel, I guess it's a sign of weakness that you have your mask on an outside fire, or maybe you just don't want to fill your Scott uh, when you get back to quarters. But it, it needs to be something that stops. I, I'm surprised that we still get away with it and still see it uh, on YouTube videos all around uh, YouTube every day. But anyway, I shot this video uh, several years ago. I won't even point out the, point out the department because it doesn't matter. It's happening everywhere. Uh, but let's just review. So this is a, a 18 wheeler on the New Jersey Turnpike, FedEx. So let's just pause for a second. We got one, two, three, four, five guys, two of which have Scots, two of, uh, three of which that do not. Uh, we have one gentleman with a baseball cap on backwards. Um, this is a FedEx truck, guys. I mean, beyond that vehicle fires, in my opinion, are probably the most toxic, toxic substance we're gonna come across. It's just hydrocarbons, plastic, diesel fuel, gasoline, oil. I mean, it, it's, it's a cancer show waiting to happen. But in this case here, what, what's in here? Does anyone know? This is a FedEx container. I realize it's not on fire here, but that's not like they knew that when they pulled up. And I mean, is there marijuana in here? Are there drugs? Are there pharmace you know, pharmaceuticals? Are there plastics, liquids when mixed together? God knows what's on here. Um, why? Why do we continue to do this? There's no need for it. And I understand some of the ideas that you're standing far away. And yes, many times you can get away with that, but sometimes the wind change dire changes direction. I happen to be work for a department that covered the New Jersey Turnpike, as this is not it. Um, but, but sometimes you don't have the luxury of being on the clear side. Uh, so you, you have to stand in the smoke. You know, this is, this is not good. No need to be doing this. So one other thing I forgot to add here. Um, this scenario that you're seeing, which is magnesium blowing up once it's hit with water, is not that uncommon. Um, you can find a lot of these videos online, but this, happen this exact scenario has happened to me. Uh, what happens is they use that magnesium and, and all over, you know, Corvettes and other cars used to have them in the motor or the wheels and so forth. I'm, I don't even know nowadays which vehicles have them, but it's very common to have them in the steering column. Um, some aspect of the steering column has magnesium. It gets very hot. The water drips down, excuse me, the magnesium drips down, turns to liquid and lands on the floorboards of the, of the driver's compartment. As soon as you come in there with the line and hit it with water, it explodes like this. Um, this happened to me. Um, fortunately for me, I, I was wearing a mask and when it did explode, a, so, a piece of metal, something flew and hit the passenger side mirror and broke it. So had that gone the other direction into my chest, my face, I think it's survivable, but I would much again prefer to be hit in the face with my mask on versus having my, just, uh, my face exposed. Here's the second one I wanted to show you. This is a vehicle, this is obviously in Europe somewhere, or not the US for sure. Um, some kind of industrial commercial vehicle, and I'll just let it roll. Now I just pause this. Again, is this, this is an anomaly, not something that happens every day. You'll see the tire blew off when it got hot enough. You know, that's another thing. I mean, a zillion times I've gone to a car fire, the tires let off and 
you can hear stuff flying and metal landing and whatever else. Look here, what's this? This is the ring of that tire that blew off and hit the roof of the building. Now, granted, you have your mask on. Is this going to change anything? No, not likely. But why does anyone want to be subjected to getting hit with liquid, uh, some type of liquid, uh, some type of caustic liquid, a hot liquid, a piece of metal? Is it worth being maimed or killed on the job, dying in a line of duty death for a stupid car fire? I would argue no. Anyway, as I've been doing these videos, um, all these in case you missed it videos, I have a bunch of them. I'm pretty hard on some of the guys here in the videos. And so do me a favor. I don't know it all. I don't claim to. Without question, I'm pretty opinionated. I'm sure you've figured that out already by some of the other videos. But I do care what other people think, and I'm more than willing to listen and change my mind. And I'm not saying my philosophies or what I've been taught are, are, is the only way. But in this case, I think uh, wearing your mask at a car fire is the only way to do it. And But you tell me. That's what I think. I want to know what you think. Thank you for uh, watching Transmit the 1075, and please, after this video is over, go check out my other In Case You Missed It videos and comment. I want to know what you think. I want to make the world a better place. Thank you very much. <laughs>